every scholar, you read any commentary on the gospel of John, they say, John is writing to Gnostics, which we might go, oh, Gnostics, that word's boring. I'm, tr you know, listen, it's fascinating how there is a modern version of Gnosticism today. And here's what I mean. And, and, and cultural critics are talking about this now more than ever in 2020. You know what Gnosticism was? Gnosticism was the theology and philosophy that you could get a special knowledge and you would get salvation through that special knowledge. Today, we have conspiracy theories of people who live their life in such a way they're almost defined by saying, I have a secret knowledge that defines my life. I know what nobody else knows. I know that there is a group of people in existence, evil people, sitting somewhere, controlling everything, twisting their mustaches, trying to destroy the world. And that gives me an understanding of meaning and comfort because at least I know there's a group of evil people and a group of good people. Listen to the people as they talk right now, as they scroll social media and see. I was listening to uh, Joe Rogan the other day and he was talking about aliens and talking about the fact that he thinks they're traveling interdimensionally and, and how they work and these aliens and how drugs and, he, and, and dr drugs are great and he, he promotes doing drugs because it enters you in a different state of consciousness. It opens up your mind to, to explore new ideas that you would never have if you didn't take these drugs. All of this stuff. What is this? This is a kind of special knowledge that's gonna save you, that's gonna make you unique, that's gonna make you look smarter than everybody else. This is what John writes into. And he says, there is a knowledge. And you know what's really important? And this is where the gospel of John's gonna go. You look at John 17 and, and throughout the series, you're gonna need a Bible. John 17, Jesus says in verse three, he defines salvation like this. It's fascinating. And this is eternal life that they know you and the only, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. That word know is the word gnosis, to know. And so John constantly has Jesus talking about what you know and what you don't know, the knowledge that defines your life. And here's the thing. It doesn't mean you go to church, you know, every week. It doesn't mean that you give to, it doesn't mean that you went to, you grew up in the church. It doesn't mean a Bible study every week. It doesn't mean these things because there's a version where you know about God. And then there's a version of your life where you actually know him. And that's different. I know a lot about Tiger Woods, a lot. I could see him in a coffee shop. I'd tell you every stat he's got. He doesn't know me though. And that's the problem. You could know a lot about God and him not know you. Remember that terrifying text in Matthew 7? I cast out demons in your name. I did ministry. I sang songs away from me. Away from me. I never knew you. I never knew you.